Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to Wednesdays with Larawana. Every Wednesday right here on CanawanaBuy.com, we bring you the latest information on recreational and medical marijuana from all over the globe. This week, a quite important uh, information for you and for your family. Here are four ways that cannabis is good for your brain and may save your life. This is by Dana Larson at Alternet. Modern research is showing that cannabis extracts protect and benefit the human brain. Here's four amazing ways scientists are showing that cannabis actually helps to keep your brain safe from disease and dementia, and even death. Number four, cannabis promotes new brain cell growth. The government scare campaigns often claim that cannabis kills brain cells, but now we are learning the truth. Those discredited studies that were done in the 70s by strapping gas masks onto monkeys and pumping in hundreds of joints worth of smoke. Those monkeys suffered from a lack of oxygen and that's why their brain cells died. Modern research is now proving the opposite. The active ingredient in cannabis spurred the growth of new brain cells. Back in 2005, Dr. Zia Zhang at the University of Saskatchewan showed that cannabinoids cause neurogenesis, which means they help make new brain cells grow. Most drugs of abuse suppress neurogenesis, says Dr. Zhang. Only marijuana promotes neurogenesis. Scientists in Brazil expanded on this research, demonstrating in 2013 that CBD, another chemical in cannabis, also causes new brain cells to sprout up. Researchers in Italy then produced the same result with CBC, another cannabinoid found in cannabis resin. Now there is no doubt that cannabinoids cause new brain cells to grow in the hippocampus. Um, this helps explain previous research showing that cannabinoids effectively treat mood disorders like depression, anxiety, and stress. They are all related to a lack of adult neurogenesis. Number three, cannabis prevents Alzheimer's. About five million Americans suffer from Alzheimer's, but there's hope in sight. Modern research shows that using cannabis helps prevent the incidence of Alzheimer's and dementia by cleaning away beta amyloid brain, uh, beta amyloid brain plaque. That's plaque that builds up over uh, uh, years. A, 20, 000, a 2014 study into cannabis and Alzheimer's was led by Dr. Shunai Chow, MD, a neuroscientist at the Bird Alzheimer's Institute. Quote, THC is known to be a, a potent antioxidant with neuroprotective properties, said Chow, uh, explaining that THC directly affects Alzheimer's pathology by decreasing amyloid beta levels, inhibiting its aggression, and enhancing mitochondrial function, end quote. This confirmed uh, earlier studies uh, such one from 2008, which found that THC simultaneously treated both the symptoms and progression of Alzheimer's disease. This study concluded that compared to currently approved drugs prescribed for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease, THC is considerably superior, end quote. These studies used very low levels of THC to find these results, the levels you might find in a moderate cannabis user, so where's the headline saying smoking cannabis prevents Alzheimer's? Number two, cannabis prevents brain damage after strokes and trauma. Several recent studies have found that cannabinoids protect the brain from permanent damage after trauma or stroke. Researchers found that THC protected brain cells and preserved cognitive function over time and suggested that it could be used preventively for ongoing protection. This last study from 2014 is actually quite remarkable and should have been headline news. Researchers analyzed blood samples from hundreds of people who had suffered head injuries and found that people with small amounts of cannabinoids in their bloodstream were 80% less likely to be killed from head trauma. There are 52,000 deaths every year from traumatic head injury in America. This study showed that if every adult American had a puff of cannabis once a week, 80% of those deaths could be avoided. That's about 41,600 lives that could have been saved every year. Why isn't this front page news?
And number one, cannabis extracts treat brain cancer. One exciting use of cannabinoids is the treatment of cancer. Repeated laboratory and animal studies have shown that cannabinoids kill cancer cells and shrink tumors while helping to protect normal cells. Recent research includes a 2012 study showing that CBD stopped uh, metastases of aggressive forms of cancer. A 2013 study showing that a blend of six cannabinoids killed leukemia cells and a 2014 study showing that THC and CBD could be combined with traditional chemotherapy to produce dramatic reductions in brain tumor size. Using cannabis extracts for brain cancer is nothing new. A 1998 study found that THC induces cell death in C6 glioma cells, an aggressive form of brain cancer. 2009 study showed that THC acted to kill cancer cells while it does not affect normal cells in the brain. The medicinal benefits of cannabis and cannabinoids are immense and it's time for everyone in this country and around the world to be allowed full access to this amazing healing plant. It's going to be amazing what's going to be coming in the future everybody. Very, very exciting. We'll be back next week with another Wednesdays with Larawana. Don't forget Canawana Buy. Check them out every week for uh, uh, new products, great prices, fast shipping, CanawanaBuy.com. Don't forget my weekly medical marijuana radio show at MMJRadio.com. A new show every Saturday at 7 p.m. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. <laughs>